life is a game, man. We have to play the games. You know, we have to understand the rhythm, and we have to we have to ride that rhythm so we can get the most out of life. Life is short. Let's then make the most of it and maximize in our every experience. And trust me, when you come down here, the hourly two hours experience here is gonna last you. I say to people, the experience that you gain here, you can go back home next week, next month, next year and recall it. It is yours, you own it. I come down here and the place just wraps me up, you know, say, welcome back, Derek, welcome back. Everything is here, nature, God, energy, everything is here. And as you move through here, something is going to touch something that you need to be touched. So we we're kind of creating this space where this total harmony and with total harmony is really coming. I, I now acknowledge this for, through my interpretation. But it's not solely my interpretation because I am not an island here. I'm no, you know, I don't live here secularly because the place is really designed for the empowerment of everybody who comes on board here. You know, it's to touch everybody who walks through these gates and to hopefully as they leave here, there's a transformation that has taken place. So we instill all of that positive vibes here with the plants, the lawns and, um, you know, it just there's just this resonance here we want it to resonate because the place moves in so many different ways and the light as the light moves through the property through the day it just shifts very subtly but shifts sufficiently that you are going to feel something I'm not saying everything's perfect here but I feel that it kind of flows in a particular way and at the end of the day it flows because I've directed it to flow that way so it's like me then putting it in because I put something here and I'll move it because it doesn't feel right. You know, it's like searching. I need something to do that's going to challenge me. I need something that is beyond myself to challenge me so I can actualize who I am or who I could become. This is my work. I feel blessed. But this is a huge property. There's no, there's no boundaries. So I want people to feel this unlimitlessness of no boundaries that can hold you. So when we have groups and activities, they say, this whole corner, what do you do down there? What can we do down there? I said, the property is the attraction. You know, so much you can get, you know, if you really are present. Anything else that comes on here is just to enhance your presence here. It's a journey, it's an experience. We're doing um, a bar down at the front where the old house is. It goes way back to the 1700, 1732. And, um, it's waiting for me. I can't believe it's still standing there. It's waiting for me to fix it up. I really feel that. We want to do a stage. We started forming out um, a stage for performing arts. Most of these things I'm creating that has elevations and that you can stand away and you can like you're floating and you can detach yourself. The whole thing is to detach yourself from where you're coming from for a moment in time. We have a logwood circle over there, which is very informal. We have an, a labyrinth. And then we have about two kilometers of nature trails in the hillside, and that is taking you through the rugged and to give you a challenge. We have little children, they have to walk up there, and they try to just want to get from one end to the next. But when they get to the top of the hillside and look down and say, this is what you've done in a few minutes. Isn't that amazing? I want to have cottages up here. I want to have a spa here. I want to have like a whole week of just health and wellness and of a spa and everything else is locked down. So the whole place is transformed for that amazing wellness. I want during the holiday times for the kids for it to just be a fun park for two months for them to come in and just love it up and we just transform it for that period of time. I don't want everything to be static. It's going to be in a manner which it's going to be in balance, in harmony with change and nature. The only thing that is constant is change. We need to embrace change. So even the infrastructures that we put in, they're not going to be solid, solid. I mean, you know, we're putting up concrete and stuff like that, but they're going to be open. They're not going to be enclosed and locked in. You know, there has to be breathing space. There has to be growth and development. All the plants are growing, you know, and I sometimes I just allow them for weeks and months just to do their own thing. And I said, okay, that's interesting. Let me just tweak this here and there. What are you saying? Oh, that looks really cool. 
And even when hurricanes come, I knock down a few trees. I just walk around and say, oh, that's interesting. What can I do with this? You know, and it opens up new vistas I hadn't seen before, even what I could have managed. So I just, I just let go, man, and just go with the flow. People come down here and say, this is awesome, man. How do you manage it? I say, it's relatively low maintenance because we've taken a lot of time and energy setting up a low maintenance system here. The horses do an amazing job here. I'm, I embrace technology, but you need to have a balance. There need to be that balance. And we are so blessed here in Jamaica that we have so much nature around. But the fact is that we have so much, people take it for granted. But we're trying to structure. We're trying to structure nature so that you can quickly get the value of what nature can provide. My biggest challenge, however, I must say, is that people, a lot of people don't understand what I'm doing. You know, and we do have, and I want to invite the community in more. And it's like getting to that next level. How can this place now be what it's supposed to be? And it's waiting for that. It's like, hey, when is this place going to happen? <laughs> it's like, when is going to happen? To me, spirituality is not just about being a Christian or being a Muslim, being a Buddhist. It's being in touch with yourself and God within you. Jesus, Buddha, they're all part of who we are, the universe, you know, this is, we're all intrinsically linked and we're linked with each other. To me, you know, and when we tune in with somebody, we tune into nature and we communicate at those spiritual level, that level and love shows up and kindness shows up and benevolence shows up. To me, we can all embrace and love each other. I feel accomplished, but I don't feel I have reached there yet. Because when I reach there when the people are able to come in here. And, and this is icing on the cake when other people come and, you know, they're appreciated. One lady came and said, now I've been through here. I don't have to go anywhere else in Jamaica. I have felt I have visited Jamaica. But I am satisfied. I don't have to travel all over the place to try and get that point. It's hit the spot. So it's really beautiful.